I'm scared that outlet is gonna blow up because it keeps making this like staticky noise. Am I tripping? Why does it smell like liquor? I don't even know if my camera is straight. <laughs> Not oral. I always shake fit cause. Bitch, how am I supposed to shake this? Why does it smell like grass? I look like the peanut butter baby. Uh. Oh. I didn't brush my hair. I literally came back from the gym and I showered and this is what is if you guys don't know what Timu is, it's like an app. I wish I was sponsored, but I'm not. Um, I'm gonna do a full face using their makeup and it's like, their stuff on the website is really, really cheap. It's kind of like Shein, but I feel like it's better. Or not better, I don't know. But like, it's cheaper than Shein, I feel like. I just came today. It took like two weeks. Oh, I got a free gift. I got a free makeup bag. It says a beautiful girl on it and it's actually kind of a decent size. I thought it was gonna be like like half of the size, but I got oral oral not oral oil control and refreshing makeup. It's like a loose powder. I got like half lashes. Oh I got another lip oil because huh, my mom took mine. Um I got long volume waterproof mascara what is this oh blush why is it so small it's so tiny oh it's pretty it says hello bear on it oh it's so cute guys what i forgot like these powder puffs that I see all over my TikTok page. I got my mom one. Oh, this might be the foundation. It's literally going on my skin. And I feel like my skin has been really, really good lately. Like, I haven't been... Oh, no, I got this for my mom. Because she wanted, like, those, like, clear lip gloss. I mean, lipstick that, like, changes colors by her, like, body warmth. Looks like this. It has, like, a flower in the middle. I got it in the shade... O2 and it says waterproof jelly crystal lipstick and it looks really really cute guys this is so cute oh smells like am I tripping why does it smell like liquor it smells like what it's oh my god it smells like the watermelon Malibu I don't know if I can get with that scent, but it's like clear and it has a flower in the middle. Just... It, it doesn't smell too bad when it's on your skin, but bitch, opening this, it literally. I got. Oh, this is the liquid foundation. Got it in the shade 06. I'm scared of the shade matching because I'm so bad at matching my shade even in store. So, like. Having to match it based on pictures is crazy to me. I'm scared, y'all. Oh. Mm, it might be a little orange. Playing many matte foundation with weightless coverage that is oil-free. There's a lot. It says never dry or cakey. We'll see about that. And it's hydrating is what it's saying. It just says fit colors, high definition concealer, which they're definitely copying fit me by Maybelline. Oh no, they're copying like LA colors. Then I got, oh my God, this is the highlighter that I keep seeing on my For You page too. I got it in pink, cause of course. Have you guys seen this? It's like, this applicator and then you like flick it and glitter goes everywhere y'all see it oh my god oh can you see the glitter oh i got an eyebrow pencil but i think i got this from my mom because she said she was running out and it was hella cheap then what's this oh i also got liner too I mean, I guess. Dude, oh my god. Now I feel nauseous because that lipstick. 
this is oh this is a little light my mom might not like this because it has like a red undertone i think that's all yeah and the, ooh, the rest is my mom look how beat up this box is only thing that i didn't order was brushes because i can just use my brush although i should have ordered their brushes to see if it's like good or not but i didn't do that so we're gonna use my own brushes okay i'm back and the oh and i never bought setting spray because it looked a little sketchy on the website and i didn't buy um lash glue so these are my brushes they're real dirty i feel like it needs to be washed but we're not gonna do that today i usually start oh i need a mirror okay we're gonna use the james charles palette for the mirror didn't you get canceled for something? I didn't buy this. My friend gave it to me. So. I'm going to pin her hair back using bobby pins to get the bangs out my face. So I usually do eyebrows. This might be a little too light for me, I feel. Did I ever bring in my... I'm missing a couple things, y'all. Oh, this is way too light for me. But it's not like hard to use like you know how like some pencils are very waxy you have to press down really hard to get like any color this is very creamy like it's pigmented like i'm not even pressing down hard and it's like drawing also i stopped doing like blocky not blocky but like thicker brows on me because my friend victoria said that like thinner arch brows looked better on me than like those like thick i'll put in a picture on how i used to do it <laughs> it was real bad okay they don't look like too bad of a color match on camera but i feel like in person they're like a little red but it was literally not even a dollar so i can't complain eight out of ten so we're gonna go in with the fit color high definition concealer in the shade two details fit color foundation with weightless full coverage that is oil free non com i don't know that word that's a big word weightless and hydrating long wear for 12 hours always shake fit color bitch how am i supposed to shake this literally says the exact same thing um as the foundation oh why why is it in the lip gloss thing i just go under the brows can you see what i'm doing under the brows did it even do anything <laughs> i don't know if it did anything and i'm just saying this now that my brows never matches up they never look the same never I mean, oh, I just got it on my pants. As for the concealer though, I would give it, I can't really tell if it did anything. So I'll come back on reading this after I use it on my under eyes to see if it conceals anything. This is the full coverage foundation. It literally says the exact same thing as the concealer. Why does it smell like grass? It smells like wet grass. Like it smells like grass after it rains. Let's see the pump. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, should I use the powder puff and see what it does? Because I see a lot of people use these like powder puffs for their liquid. <gasps> it's so orange. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Maybe it will oxidize. Is that the word? It's so orange, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a Oompa Loompa. We're just gonna go on. Why is it covering like a lot? Like it's kind of pigmented. I look like the peanut butter baby. 
Oh, you're beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I literally look like the peanut butter baby. Help. I never checked if I got everything I ordered. Despite the color match, I kind of feel like this is high freaking coverage. I don't know if it's high coverage because of the puff or the um the foundation. Okay, maybe I can it's so <laughs> I don't know if you can tell with this light on, but I'll I'll turn it off for you guys. Hold on. It's so orange. Whatever. I can save it. I can probably save it. I usually go in with the concealer. Luckily, the concealer is lighter because I feel like this matches me more than this. So, what if I could have mixed it? What if I just did a bright under eye? They're doing like construction at my apartment, and my dad's the manager. So, if they come knocking on my door, I'm not opening it. Bitch, like this, look at my peanut butter baby is crazy right now. Hope that this conceals. Guys, these, okay. The coverage on these product is low-key mind-blowing as fuck. I don't know if I'm going through a phase or not, but for the past like month, I have been binge watching the heck out of um Family Guy. Like I'm starting backwards where I'm like watching the new season. I don't know if that just made it worse or because why is this actually covering stuff? Despite the fact that I still look like Peanut Butter Baby, the concealer was actually pretty good. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm still very orange. This is good if you want to do like those clean girl glowy, glowy makeup. You know, like for summer. I just fucked up my brows. Whatever. Um, still looking very orange, but <laughs> we're just gonna have to use my own contour stick so be right back maybe the shade will be good for like a summer shade i'm not wearing the shade now what the heck like if i'm like really really tan and i use like a little bit of it oh i use the dual ended contour stick by wet and wild medium tan and i don't know if i should be adding <laughs> more tan on my face but we gotta stick to the makeup routine. This is beyond me. Am I even gonna post this? <laughs> Pretty sure I didn't do anything. But we need to set this in. How do I open it? Oh, it's a twist. Oh, it comes with a little puff. It comes with a little, little puffer. I was just supposed to peel the sticker in here. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a little too much. Wait, I actually kind of like this powder. Hmm, this is actually a good powder. I like it. 9 out of 10. Is it just me or is it looking less orange? Or is my eyes just adjusting to it now? And it still is orange. Next, I usually do blush. I'm gonna use this cute little itsy bitsy blush with a bear on it. This is my brush for blush. <gasps> okay. Oh, this is kinda cute. Cute. I would give this a 7 out of 10. Okay, interesting. Then after that, I usually go in with liner and do like a cat eye. Okay. 
that's the liner it's actually really good so 10 out of 10 i don't know if it smudges but it says it's waterproof but it glides on really smoothly and it's actually very pigmented yeah and it's very sharp like pointy so you can do like clean lines with it and these are the half lashes and i have really like small eyes i feel like so i cut my lashes anyway so i was like oh half lashes i used the duo the blue one okay we're gonna let that dry in the meantime i'm gonna use the highlighter some people just kind of flip it on <gasps> oh it's kind of cute cute and it's like used as like a body shimmer too 10 out of 10 and i feel like they give you a lot so back to the lashes these are the lashes they look good oh i forgot to put on mascara it says super long luxurious mascara oh this is the brush Oh, it's kind of making my lashes look long. The lashes are so pretty. 10 out of 10 for the lashes. They're very light. I don't feel anything on my eyes, which is a plus. And you get five pairs. Next, I do lips. So for the lips, I'm going to be using Lip Glow Oil in the shade Cherry. I think the first time I ordered some, it was Rosemary. But then when I would try to order it again, they were out of that color and I only had orange or cherry. And I got cherry because who the heck wants to wear orange? And this is what it looks like. Apparently it has like a peppermint. Oh, it does have peppermint. The brush gets stuck like. Oh, it's like tingly. Oh, it's pretty. I love my lip oils. Mm. 10 out of 10. The color match was obviously my fault, but I feel like everything deserves an 8 out of 10. Like, I have no complaints. Everything was pigmented. Everything is actually very, like, full coverage. Oh, ignore that pimple above my brow. I like it. It's not patchy. It feels a lot like it feels lightweight. Like it's not smearing. My favorite would be the lip oil. So I would for sure get that again. And the half lash and the highlight. These are my top three. And then my least favorite would have to be the brow just because it's kind of like it has like a red undertone. I don't know if you can tell, but that's my fault. But I honestly don't really have a least favorite. Like, this is just my least favorite because it's not the right color. But the product itself is, like, really good. I don't know how to end my videos. Like, make sure to watch all the other videos that I have up on my channel. And make sure to like this video. And I'll be back here, hopefully, by next week.